I'm a retired United States Army Staff Sergeant. Um, I retired because in 2003, when I deployed to Iraq, my first mission outside the wire, I was in a gunfight, and I took a 7.62 round from an AK-47 to the back of the skull. Honest to God's truth, that's why I retired. Um, it screwed up my short-term memory, and I can't remember a lot of things, which is why you might see me looking at my hand occasionally. Um, and people are like, that's terrible that you don't have a good memory. And it's not, because I live uh, with a woman, and it could be the best fucking thing that's ever happened in my life. Because <laughs> I have a built-in excuse to forget everything. And you just can't get mad at me, because that would be unpatriotic. <laughs> I was on tour one time, I called. I was like, hey, I made it safely. She's like, why didn't you fill the ice cube tray? I'm like, because I forgot. She's like, why? Because I got shot in the goddamn head. <laughs> Fighting for your freedom, so. Which one do you want, ice or freedom? You only get one. You can't have both, that is selfish. The kids in Afghanistan that would love ice. Probably freedom too, but freedom, ice is a lot easier. I got a purple heart for it. You guys don't, don't cheer for that. It's the worst fucking ribbon you could get. That just means the other guy almost killed you. That's all that means. But the thing about the purple heart is, in the state of New York and in the state of California, when you have a purple heart, they give you a free license plate. Did you know that? That's one of the few advantages to being shot in the head in combat. <laughs> Let me tell you a funny story about the first time I, I got my license plates. I was in New York, my hometown, Buffalo, New York. And I got my Purple Heart license plate. So this was 2004, right after I got back from Iraq. And I get my plates and I call my buddy Matt down at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. And I said, hey Matt, I got my Purple Heart plates. And Matt has three Purple Hearts. So he's been shot three times. This was like 2004, right after the first year of the war. A lot of support for the military. Matt goes, put them on your car and see if you can get a ticket. That doesn't seem like a good idea. So he goes, no, no, see if you can get a ticket. So I put my plates on my car, and I drive it to Buffalo Police Headquarters, and I park in a handicap spot in front of Buffalo Police Headquarters, and then I walk to a bar and get shit-faced drunk at 11.30 in the morning. And then I walk back to my car, and I gotta take a piss, so I start peeing next to my car. And this cop comes out, I was like, is this your car? I'm like, yes sir, it is. He goes, where are you going? I'm like, to a bar? He goes, I didn't ask you where you're coming from. It's not the answer I gave you. <laughs> he goes, is this your car? I'm like, yes, sir. Just come back from Iraq? I'm like, yes, sir. He goes, you wait right here. So he gets his partner. His partner comes out and they put me in a squad car. The partner gets in my truck and they drive my truck to my house and then walk me into a bar. <laughs> <laughs> and they buy me lunch and a beer at 11.30 in the morning. And the cop goes, airborne sergeant, and fucking leaves. So I call Matt, I'm like, yo, you are not gonna believe what the fuck just happened. So I tell him, and he goes, I meant roll through a stop sign, you idiot, and I'm gonna fucking DUI.